Hey guys, today we are going to be unboxing a beautiful Swifty one to show you what's inside and how to get out scooting as quick as possible. If you've got space, keep the box. It can come in quite handy for if you're transporting your scooter or going on holiday. We've, we've used these boxes ourselves if we're going abroad and we're taking one with us. So if you can save it, chuck it in the garage or in the loft. So the great news is that Swifty One is pretty much 100% fully assembled, which is cool. So out of the box, all you need to do is pump the tires. Yes, we don't pump up the tires during transit and that's because some of our scooters have to go by air and that's the law. So once you've taken it out of the box, take all the plastic packaging off. And there you have it. That's your scooter, fully assembled, pretty much ready to go. We pre-adjust the brakes, the front brake, the rear brake, and we've checked all of the components to make sure everything is tip top. But as per your instructions, it's really important that you just do some basic checks of all the parts first before you go out riding. So inside the front wheel packaging, you'll get this nice little handy bag. Enclosed is the how to fold and unfold guide, your warranty card registration, please fill this in and send it back to us. A 15 millimeter wheel spanner, some Allen keys and some spare pads for the rear fork. First job is to pump up the tires. There is a separate video to this, but the general rule of thumb is around 80 PSI seems to be the average that everybody pumps their tires up to, which means it's a good average. There is another video and some links down below to show you some more in depth information about tire pressure, but Yep, get them pumped up and then it's time to unfold. Okay, so the first stage to unfold your Swifty One is to twist the toggle that's located here 90 degrees and that releases the folding stem. And if you push that all the way forwards and pull this lever, that clicks into place and then you close this one. This retaining plastic ring here is just an extra safety feature that you close to stop this opening of its own accord, but don't worry, it's not gonna do that. Make sure that this is a nice tight fit. The general rule of thumb for all of the folding mechanisms in the scooter is that they are adjustable. So on here, you see this nice big nut here. If you need to add more pressure, you feel like it's not tight enough, you can just turn that ever so slightly. And equally, if it's too stiff and too hard to close this, you can turn it to adjust it. The next step is to rotate and lower the bars into a comfortable riding position. So the quick release clamp that you can see here, you just pull this one open. And this stem, it's an auto twisting stem, which means as you twist it, it follows the slot and it locates itself. When you're looking down from the top, just make sure that you've got it nice and square. There is a tiny little bit of tolerance there. And then close this quick release clamp nice and tight to secure the handlebar. When you're rotating your handlebars, please observe the minimum insert mark that you can see here. Basically, that's the minimum amount that the handlebar can be extended. As long as you can't see that text, then you're safe. The next step is to unfold the rear fork, and this by far is my favorite and most fun bit. Uh, it rotates up and through like that, and it clicks into place automatically on its own with the carry handle. Uh, to release this fork as well, because it's automatically now locked into position, you just put your finger in and pull the catch pin and pull this one all the way up and rotate through. This is secured in place by a little toggle clamp here, which you just use your fingers just to open and close. So that's how you secure it into the position so it won't rotate through. As you're rotating through, please take note of the warning sign. Keep your fingers away from these sharp edges. It's pretty obvious, but in the excitement of your new Swifty, you definitely can, if you're not careful, catch a finger. The last thing to do is to fold the foot plate down. And that's it, you're ready to roll. Inside the instruction manual, there's also two little pads that you can see here. So between the fork and the frame, just on here, there is a clear plastic pad which provides a little bit of tolerance between the fork and the frame. Over time this can wear out and this pad is a replacement for the clear one. So if you find when you close your fork there is a little bit of play and 
it's moving too much, you can use these pads to replace the clear ones. So just peel those off and use this one to stick here. Nice and simple. To fold it back up, you just follow the same steps in reverse. It'll take a few times to get used to it. I've been doing it for years, so I'm pretty quick, but it's literally as quick and as easy as that. That's how to fold and unfold your Swifty One. Thanks for watching today. I hope that shows you what's inside your box for your Swifty One. If you've got any more questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll do our best to answer them as soon as possible. Have an awesome day. See you soon. Bye.